Our next outstanding alumni is presented to the classes of 1960 and 1961, and that would be Steve Hickman and Doug Kapnick. Doug Kapnick and Steve Hickman are a team, two persons associated in a joint mission to make Adrian Public Schools an exceptional school system for all students and Adrian a vibrant, dynamic, and caring community. Both men were instrumental in bringing the Adrian Schools Educational Foundation to fruition in 1987. Throughout the entire developmental process, the team of Steve and Doug supplied dynamic, coordinated support and personal involvement. Doug was president of the Board of Education that saw the potential benefits of such an organization for the district and led the way to Adrian Schools establishing one of the first public school foundations in the state of Michigan. He also served as the Adrian Public Schools Board Representative on the Foundation's inaugural Board of Trustees. Steve eagerly accepted the presidency of the Foundation and instilled standards of excellence to carry out the mission of serving diversified needs of all facets of the Adrian School District. An initial endowment was established and has grown into two separate funds, one for the arts and one for general education endeavors. More than $2 million resides in these endowments today. One of the first projects of the new foundation was the awarding of grants to classroom teachers and staff for school improvement projects throughout every department within the school system. To date, more than $650,000 has been given in these annual awards. Steve and Doug began their dedication to APS as students, then as parents when their children attended APS, and now as grandparents where some of their grandchildren attend some of the same schools they attended. They have both served on the school board, been president of the board, worked on numerous millage campaigns, and continue to attend many school functions. Supporting the children of this community has been an important mission for the Kapnick and Hickman families. Mary Martin, director of the Boys and Girls Club of Lenaway, writes, if I were writing the book, Doug and Steve would be riding white horses or driving white Porsches and show up at exactly the right time in exactly the right place with exactly the help we needed to save the day. It is in no way an overstatement to say the Boys and Girls Club of Lenaway would not exist if it weren't for the vision and generosity of these two men and their families. Today, the club serves over 1,100 members annually. Another major contribution to the Adrian community came in 1996 when together with Virginia Hickman and the Hickman brothers, the family opened the Hickman Cancer Center. This center honored Steve's father, who died of lung cancer, and his daughter Tracy, who had been diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. The purpose was to assure that cancer patients in our community had a high quality local solution to treat cancer rather than be forced to drive miles away on a regular basis. This award-winning cancer center is associated with ProMedica Hospital. Community service has been a way of life for Doug and Steve. They have both served on numerous local boards and served in leadership positions on many of these boards. Some of these include Adrian College, Siena Heights University, Lenaway United Way, Bank of Lenaway, Adrian State Bank, Croswell Opera House, Bixby Foundation, Greater Adrian Industrial Development Corporation, Lenaway Economic Development Corporation, Lenaway County Chamber of Commerce, YMCA, and the list goes on. They have both received numerous awards, including the Lenaway Maple Leaf Award for Outstanding Community Service. They have also been members of community service organizations. Steve is a past Rotarian, member of the Young President's Organization, and a current member of the World's President's Organization. He has also served on numerous boards in Bluffton, South Carolina, where he and his wife Sally reside part year. Doug has been a long-standing active Kiwanian. Now that Steve and Doug have retired, they are bringing their talents and love for the Maple City to downtown Adrian by investing in the town where they were born and raised and leading the way for future development. They also started Strong Back Boat Works that has produced many beautiful wooden boats that have benefited many charities. After graduating from Adrian High School in 1960, Steve went on to complete a business degree at Michigan State University. He worked in the paper industry before answering the call to come home to help run Brazeway, an aluminum extrusion company owned by his father. He and his two brothers, Pete and Dave, ran the company and grew it to $18 million in sales. He became sole owner in 1982 when, as a family, the decision was made to sell Brazeway. 
Today, Steve serves as chairman of the board of Brazeway, which has grown to over $200 million in sales and is a global leader in aluminum products for air conditioning, automotive, and refrigeration. They are an international manufacturing company employing more than 900 workers. Steve and Sally are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary this year. Their two daughters graduated from Adrian High School, Tracy in 1985, an award-winning interior designer who resides in Chicago, and Stephanie in 1986, who serves as CEO of Brazeway. They also have a granddaughter, Reagan, who proudly attends Lincoln Elementary, where Steve and Stephanie both attended. Doug graduated from Adrian High School in 1961 and then from the University of Michigan with a BBA. He joined Cabinet Insurance in 1965, a company his father established, and then became president in 1975. He is currently chairperson of the board of directors. The company employs 150 individuals, many of them Adrian High School alum, to provide service to more than 11,000 clients. Capnick Insurance Group is a third generation agency that has grown to be one of the largest independently owned insurance agencies in the Midwest and is recognized as one of the top 100 insurance agencies in the U.S. Doug and Mary have three children, Jim and Mike, who serve as officers of the Capnick Insurance Group, and Heidi Elthoff of Farmington Hills. Three of their grandchildren have graduated from Adrian High School to date. Congratulations, Steve and Doug. Please come forward, Steve and Uncle Doug, to accept your award. You're going to walk like pulling across the stage? <laughs> uh, Jim Leary, thank you. He was kind enough to nominate us. You know, we used to be really good looking and skinny. <laughs> what do you mean, we? <laughs> uh, Doug used to be on the selection committee for this, uh, this award, and I once asked him if he was going to be nominated. He said, no. He said, there's some really great alums and I don't have qualify. He said, before you ask, you don't either. <laughs> then he said, hey, if I have qualify and you have qualify, Maybe we can qualify as a team, and I can bribe someone to nominate us. That's how it happened, folks. I would say that that's um, reasonably accurate. <laughs> Steve and I, we, um, we, we go back a long ways, and we, we've been working together on community projects. I think our first one that we did was in the early 70s, almost 45 years ago when uh, we did a teen center for the local YMCA. And since then, we've done a number of community projects together. And, and whenever I got involved in some community project and needed some help, Steve was there to give me a hand. And whenever he was silly enough to get involved in one of those and needed some help, I was there to give him a hand. Well, <clears throat> we've had a lot of, and a whole lot of feel good moments through our careers and, and time in Adrian. And I'll tell you, it's just been an awful lot of fun. And now that we're this team, <laughs> maybe we've set a precedent. In the future, we may see a lot of teams or groups that, that get this award. We may even see some sports teams, like the football team. Maybe not this year. <laughs> I, I apologize about that. <laughs> well, Steve and I. Steve and I, we really appreciate this award. We're probably a little embarrassed about it, but we're very honored. So we want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of our heart for all of the, all the good things that are happening in this community. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We don't have to split this. We each get one. <laughs> 